Guys, I just got my WG2 wearable gimbal. Uh, it just came in. Uh, it's supposed to work with the Hero 5 and the Hero 6. What came with it, I got a little extra than just this that came in the box. I got a cloth there, cleaning cloth. Um, this will attach to a GoPro. They gave me a little tiny tripod, which I think I'm going to use it with my Samsung uh, Gear 360 camera. They also gave me a extendable selfie stick, um, which I can mount the tripod on and all that too, which actually might become real handy when you're out hiking you want to carry and set down. Uh, anyways, everything for $200. So let's open this up. I haven't opened this up yet. Warranty card, information in uh, Chinese and in English. This uh, one is uh, supposed to be 100% waterproof, so um, pretty excited about this. All right, I like the box. Or gave me one of those. I guess I got an extra one. And it looks like a USB cable. This is just a block of foam right here. Guaranteed this is probably not even charged to start off with. It's like you can mount it two different ways. This looks like this would come off. Yeah. I was going to say, because that whole arm should move. And then I would think that would move too, but maybe not. Maybe I should read the instructions. You know I don't read instructions. There we go. Raise that up. There it goes. Now it turns every direction. Yep, kicked on. Okay, so I have to put a camera in there. All right, pause it. All right, so I uh, went and grabbed my Hero Five. This is my this is my G Five gimbal. Uh, eight hours battery life. I love it. Um, only downside is it's splash proof but not waterproof. This one's supposed to be waterproof. This one here has three hours of battery life which you know doesn't look like you can pull the battery out. I was hoping that you could exchange change up the batteries but it doesn't look like you can. Alright anyways that's fine. We can always figure a solution out for that. Most likely what I'll do is, you hear our puppies crying over here because they want attention. They want to be in the camera. Well, come here, Mac. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he wants to know what's going on. All right, so anyways, slide this in here. Try to turn it on again. Seems like it's looks like I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong, Becca? Maybe it's not fully charged. Because that should be 
Maybe I should read the instructions. What do you think, Matt? You think I should read the instructions? All right, I'm gonna read instructions. Yeah. All right, so it was just, I had to adjust this here to get the, the proper balance. So now it's, you can see the gimbal is gonna adjust itself. Always gonna look one way. And if I want to, I can tilt it and it locks itself in place. So then it's always gonna have that angle. There's a lot of cool things you can do with a gimbal to get really steady pictures. Only thing I don't like is I really wanted to be able to ch change out the battery. Here's your USB charge port. I'm not gonna pull that off just yet. But um, I'm sure you can get to the battery underneath here, but that would require tearing it apart. We really don't want to tear it apart. But anyways, kind of enjoying it. This is a pretty nice little gimbal. So, can't wait to test it out. I'll get some footage real soon for you guys.